Now, we started a series on power. At this point, we are the dimensions of power. I talked of dunamis. I said dunamis is an indwelling power. An indwelling power. At the realm of dunamis, power is a potential. That is in Acts of Apostles chapter 1 verse 8. It says, but he shall receive dunamis. That power there is called dunamis. You shall receive dunamis. You shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And then when that happens, you become a witness. Anywhere you come, you are a businessman, you become a witness. How do you become a witness? You live in the world of miracles. Because God is a God of miracles. Everything about Jesus is miracle. The way he was born, the way he grew, the way he started the, his own ministry, everything that happens from the day he started to the end, miracles. The way he died, the way he resurrected, the way he ascended to heaven, the way he still empowered people on earth, miracles. I said the number one is Anakazu which is a compelling force number two is Ake this Ake gives you the authority for influence so it is power vested on thrones on thrones on thrones so that is at this realm you see for you to rule as a king you need Ake if not you can be a king and not what and not rule then I said number three is dunamis. I said dunamis is the ability to create change. It's the power that comes on you to create change. So you want to change your life. You want to change your situation. You want to change your finances. It is dunamis you need. So it comes to help you create a visible change. And an instant change. I said we have a susia. Ezusia is given for a position. If you go to John chapter 1 verse 2, the Bible says, But as many as receive him, to them gave he Ezusia. That power there is Ezusia to become. So, for you to become a son of God is a position you occupy. And being in that position, a certain kind of power is given to you to occupy that position. And that power is called what? Ezusia. What a policeman commands is at the level of a susia. That is why he can be short, he can be tiny, but he will still park you on the road. Not because he can beat you, but because I occupy this office, I have been given a susia over you. I have been given a certain kind of power over you. What a government official take handles like a governor who is sitting in the office there it's not because he's the best in the state he's not the most handsome he's not most governors are very 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 handsome handsomely made yet with that kind of look they became governor and they are sitting there and giving order and you obey it's because they are occupying a position a susia has been given to them are you getting it now so as a believer that is what is called believer's authority it is given to you to occupy the office called the believer's office so you cannot be a believer the bible says what union has righteousness with unrighteousness what union has christ with Baal? that means how can righteousness that you you being a believer is occupying a position called righteousness you are occupying a position called christ you are occupying a position called light and it says you don't have anything to do with someone who is occupying a position in darkness even those in darkness they have a susia that is propelled by darkness that's why you see there are so many government officials who are sitting there by the power by the susia that was given to them by a spirit being that is not of god When you see a military man, sometimes the only thing you fear about them is they wear the clothes they are wearing and the gun in their hand. When they are talking to you, you park or you start jogging. You are looking at the boy and say, how I wish I get you in my street when you are not wearing this uniform. 
I will teach you a lesson. Those days when we were in school, I once attended a government secondary school where a teacher will finish flogging you, you will block him on the road and flog him back. You know, some of you are going to secondary school now when the only people in secondary school are young people. When we went, you will see someone with mustache. The kind of beers that your father is not having. He's in JS1. And you flog that kind of person. As you are done flogging, he will say, wait for me. After school, he will wait at the gate and say, teacher, I will come. What were you doing inside? Because you feel you have a susia to occupy a position as a teacher. Now I'm outside. I have a susia to occupy a position as a master over you. <laughs> Praise God. So you have number six. I say is megatus. Is the outcome of your manifestation. Is recorded in Ephesians chapter one verse nineteen. And what is the exceeding greatness of his? power to us world who believe according to the working of his mighty according to the megatus of his mighty power so the work in this helps to quantify the outcome of your manifestation and then we have number seven i say is number seven is called iscus this is the foundation of isusia iscus is not a power on its own Okay, let me say it's an energy on its own that powers what? Asusia. Then you have Kratos. Kratos is as well an energy that powers dunamis. Don't worry. When we get to the point, you will understand what I mean. Let's explain dunamis. Dunamis is the kind of power that is given to you to create a change. When you are from a poor family, and God wants to bring a change to that family. The first thing he does is to call you out of darkness. He gives you salvation. And then the next thing he does after salvation is to empower you. You shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is what? Is come upon you. So there are two empowerment. First is the power to live or power to be a son of God. Secondly is the power to, the power to bring a change. So now... That you are a son of God means you should not be poor. That you are a son of God means you should not be sick. That you are a son of God because the day the price for your sin was paid. Was the same day the price for your sickness was paid. Was the same day the price for poverty. The price for causes. The price for so many challenges all of you uh, people are facing was paid. But so many believers stops at the level of salvation. Their soul is saved. But they don't know how to move from salvation to now becoming the reality of what Jesus did on the cross. Their only experience is in one point. They are saved. They don't sin. They don't lie. They don't steal. They don't do some of those things. But when you come around them, they are defeated. They have prayed and prayed and prayed. There is no result. They have done all they could. Yet, things are not changing. What brings in that change now is dunamis that dunamis is given to you to empower you to bring the change you want for yourself the change is not automatic it is that power that you need to resist the devil the bible says resist him and what happens and he will flee you need dunamis to always resist the devil to to give him a boundary around your finances give him a boundary around your business give him a boundary around your academics give him a boundary around your health how can i be saved and i'll still be living as though i have not experienced salvation salvation is a total package in that package i've explained it here just like going to the market to buy food when a carton is handed over to you it is expected that inside that carton your charger is there your earphone is there Though some of the people, some of the dealers now takes away the earphone. The earphone is there. The, what are the things inside? Charger, earphone, the phone, the manual, eh? the battery, if it is not inbuilt. I think some phones too comes with uh, extra what? 
extra battery and some phones comes with external memory card so it is expected that when you go to buy you say i need to buy phone and they tell you the phone is seventy thousand. when you pay for the phone it is expected that charger should be there earphone should be there the phone should be there the manual should be there these are the basics so it is not expected that you go there and say oh i want to buy phone charger earphone manual did you understand that eh? if you go to someone like somewhere like alaba market or you go to somewhere like area area in Aba, and tell someone i want to buy charger i want to buy charger earphone battery uh, manual phone and carton they will list it for you and give it price they will know maybe you are just that is the first time you are leaving village so you don't know what is happening so let's chop this one so but when you go there and pay for it and you now open the carton and there is no charger what do you do you go back to make demand for what for the charger you open and there is no earphone what do you do you go back to say where is my earphone you know some of you the first time you use phone after you finish what you are doing when you come back in the evening you open the carton and put it back inside am i lying hmm? am i lying hmm? some of you were rubbing the phone vaseline every morning you clean it and then get vaseline a portion of vaseline and apply it on the body praise god so what am i trying to explain to you the same way when you come before god you don't come saying i need healing i need this in what god calls the whole of this healing prosperity and then freedom from causes and all this is called salvation so when you hear salvation it's not the it's not just the salvation of your soul it is the salvaging of man's spirit soul and body at the body realm that is where prosperity happens at the body realm that is where causes happen at the body realm so the salvation first begins with the salvaging of your spirit when you receive it is a total package but when you are done receiving it the bible says the second thing you need to go to save is your mind and the way you save your mind is by renewing your mind through knowledge so when you begin to renew your mind that renewal the third thing that happens is an empowerment at the level of that renewal you still need power because you can get knowledge and the knowledge won't change you you can get knowledge and the knowledge won't transform you so you need power that is why immediately after salvation the next thing you are advised to go for is the baptism of the holy ghost because at that baptism you receive two things you shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you in salvation as salvation the holy ghost comes within you in this empowerment now the holy spirit comes upon you and the evidence is speaking in an unknown tongue when that happens he has given you the power to now wield your life to become the exact thing that jesus paid for at that time once you are empowered god removes his hand he's no longer is no longer the one responsible for what happens to you you are not the one responsible for what happens to your finances you are not the one responsible for what happens to your family you are not the one responsible for what happens to you but the calamity we see in church is that people receive salvation which is a total package and then when you go back and check the carton your health is not there you check the carton causes are, not, are still on you you check the carton prosperity is not in the carton and the man will come back and be crying oh lord empower me and god will hear the prayer and give him the holy ghost which is dunamis that is given to help you propel a change in your life then you have the holy ghost and then you only use it when you hear keyboard you just come to church and you say when the keyboard is displayed say the keyboard is not touching my spirit i'm waiting for something to touch my spirit that what you are you are an emotional man 
When you want to cause a change, emotion is inconsequential. You don't see a military man going for a war and he's emotional. He carries God. He's looking at his enemy. Hi, my God, I don't want to kill. No. No. At this realm, everything we see will go down. So you come to church and say, today's service was not powerful. It was not hot. Hey, I didn't feel tiggly tiggly in my spirit. So you say, they, they should play keyboard. There is a point the keyboard will, will reach. It will trigger my spirit. And you say, Kuriam. Mm, mm. Kuriam. Kurim. 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 Mm, 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 mm. And the devil will whisper to your ear, don't speak, speak no more. Because if you speak anything again, you are not committing sin against the Holy Ghost. Do you know why he's telling you that lie? Because he knows that that you want to utter is what you need to bring the change in your life. That is why after you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you must try to stand your ground to conquer the fear. Because when you go home and you are praying, you will hear a voice that will tell you, how sure are you that what you receive is the Holy Ghost? How sure are you? You are not the one doing your mouth. Blah, 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 blah. And then it will weaken that strength you receive. One of the ways you know when you receive an authentic thing is that the devil will fight it. The reason why the devil will never tell you to give is because giving opens the door of prosperity. He will never. Any day you hear any voice say give, it's not the devil. He will only advise you. Why are they always telling you to give? You are giving and you are becoming poor. Stop giving. Yet he will call his own in the world of darkness and say give me good. The same man advising you don't give is demanding cow from people. Is demanding human being from people. Because he knows he's on this earth, there is a certain level of power you cannot wield until you make sacrifices. Now you are saved. I know some of you sitting here, your life is not looking it. How can I now move from where being saved to being prosperous? Now I am saved and I'm having prosperity. Now I am saved. I am living above, above poverty, above causes. How can you be a believer? You are saved for 10 years. And then for these 10 years, if you check your track record of prayer, all you have been doing for 10 years is battle. Whereas you are supposed to be seated with Christ in heavenly places, far above. That means there is an authority or a seat kept beside Christ in, at the right hand of Christ in heavenly places. So we are meant to sit in that place. That is a place of authority. At that point, you sit and then a spirit being is fighting for you. He says, I will fight for you and you will have your peace. Yet, the same man who is supposed to be sitting in, who is supposed to be in his sitting position and be allowing the spirit being fight for him, will live all his life fighting. He woke up in the night, he prayed three hours and the three hours are fighting demons. Every power from my father's house, they become inconsequential. They, 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 are, they made the mistake of allowing me to receive salvation. You don't understand it. The day I got saved, poverty lost its power over me. The day I got saved, someone will look at me. From that day, if someone looks at me and says, you are cursed, I smile at him because what happens is that we receive humidity against curses. Nobody can lay a curse on us from the day you were saved. When he says, you are cursed, what there is there is there is an atmosphere that has been created in the world of the spirit that says anyone that causes you i will cause so when somebody points you and say you are cursed the spirit being that oversees you will take that cause and send it back to him but in the the strength with which that cause will go back to the person is not the same strength with which it left him because now is a spirit being that is sending that cause back to the person i can never be cursed i can never The problem we have in church is that we have a lot of weak, weak Christians. And then the messages we are preaching to them are weak messages. They will come and see it. We will tell them how demons are fighting them. How? No way! No way! No way! No way! No way! Jesus has been given authority over principalities and power. And the same authority he wielded over to us. I can't wake up now and I'm praying for every cause from my father's house. I did the prayer before. That was when I was trying to create a change. 
Now the end result of a, of a saved man is if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things. When he talks about old, he didn't say old thing. He says old things. That means is in plural form. You have your pattern of life. You have anything that has to do with your finances. You have anything that has to do with your foundation. You have anything that even has to do with your family. All things. The day you got saved, you cease to be the son of Unzeribe. In the physical, that is what they know you from. But in the world of the spirit, when they call prince, what they call is Prince Christ. The same way Jesus passed through the salvation through water. He, has spirit, he showed us the way to it. He received the Holy Ghost. That day his name changed from Jesus the son of Joseph to Jesus the Christ. Your name in the world of the spirit is not Emmanuel Aja. It's actually Emmanuel, Emmanuel Christ. But when you tell men, you say, how can you say you are Christ? But the Bible made it clear, say, how can Christ? What union has Christ with the devil? What union? That means anyone who is in this side is called Christ. You are gods. All of you who are the children of God. Haven't you heard it? In Old Testament, men had a fortress of dunamis. But then it comes like a garment. When you want to do something for God, you are going for war, that garment comes on you to fight. And then, as you are done fighting, it leaves. That's why you hear the prophets in Old Testament say, and the Spirit of God came upon me. But in New Testament, Jesus now introduces us to it. He says, that spirit is within you. That well is within you. So what Jesus came to do, the technology that changed from Old Testament to New Testament, is that that thing which used to come upon men, that came upon Samson, and Samson carried the gate of a city, came and resided inside of you. It's trying to tell you how big that power that is inside is. The challenge is that you have dunamis, but you don't know how to stay it. The gate of a city we are talking about is not like the gate of Abba. When we are talking about the gate of a city in Old Testament, you know how their face is. A face where people are building on top. A face where the king will come in the evening and he will carry his troop and be strolling on top. They will be riding horses on top of the fence, just checking around the city. So when we talk about the gate, it's not the kind of gate in your compound. Yet, the Spirit of God came on a man and the man lifted that gate. Pulled it out from the pillar and carried it on his shoulder. And didn't stop there. He carried it on his shoulder and climbed the mountain. My God. That is, I will give them task. They will need many trucks to be able to carry it back from the mountain to their place. The Spirit of God came on the same Samson. And Samson caught a lion and with his bare hand he tore the mouth open. You come against me. With the name of the God of the Philistine. David told Goliath. He says but I come against you. With the name of the God of Israel. Men conquer city. With the same power coming upon them. Yet, the men who conquered this city with the same power that came upon them, Jesus says that John the Baptist is the greatest among all the men that live in the Old Testament. That greatness is not in greatness in, our, in uh, the uh, level of wealth they have, but the greatness in the level of spiritual resources that was given to John the Baptist. He was the only person that was given the test in Old Testament, the test of what it means to be baptized with the Holy Ghost. He received the Spirit while he was in the womb. When, Jesus, when uh, Mary went to visit Elizabeth, the Bible says, John lived in the womb and the Spirit came upon him. And Jesus says, for him to have that test, that means he jumped salvation and had the test of the Spirit coming upon him. He said for him to have that test of the Spirit, he's the greatest among everybody that lived in Old Testament. But you know what Jesus said? He said, but 
for these little ones. This ones that are just receiving salvation or that will still receive salvation. John is the least. That means there is something John had. John did not have, which is salvation. He says, for that thing, John is the least. That means the way you are standing, you should not even be bold enough to be saying, I, 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 want, to, I want to look like Moses. Whereas Jesus is saying that in among those that live in the Old Testament, John is the greatest. And among us who are living in New Testament, that John is the least. You don't understand that. We have salvation and we have dynamis. The power to create change. God will not come to change your finances. You are the one to change your finances. That power has been given to you. Are you praying in tongues? And you can't change your finances? Are you praying in tongues? And you can't change your family situation? Are you praying in tongues? That means you have a gun. You don't have a direction. When God gave you salvation, he gave you a gun. When he gave you the Holy Ghost, he gave you bullet. When he gave you mouth, he gave you trigger. But you see that? The only thing your trigger is doing, I don't die. I don't perish. This is not the work. And the only thing you say with that trigger, it, you shoot it into the atmosphere. And it begins to configure the way your life goes. How do I activate dynamics? In James chapter 5 verse 16, it says, Confess your fault one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. Then the next part, it says, the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. It maketh tremendous power available. It activates dynamics. Prayer activates dynamics. Prayer activates dynamics. Especially praying in the Holy Ghost. So when you see that you are doing Shakam Varu Kali Garabadia, Feredo Zanaganda La Garadiga Balakaya, Ferene Shananaman Dorodo Shigalagada Rada Balagade, Redeko Salagada Galagada Galagada Gala. What you are doing at that time is that you are trying to activate a power that is resident inside of you. But if you stop at the realm of praying in tongue, you have not achieved anything. There is a point you reach in that praying in tongue. You reach a level where you just feel like a certain energy came on you. You begin to speak into the situation. That is when that dynamism has been activated. You have pulled it from the inside and then you have placed it on yourself. At that point, you can look at that finances and say, in the name of Jesus, I cause you poverty from my family. You can never see me. But people go on to shout that kind of thing without first of all activating the power that is resident within them. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living. That means that river has the tendency of giving living, of giving life, sorry, to your finances, of giving life to your dead family, of giving life to your dead business, of giving life to your dead age academics, of giving life to whatever that the situation may be. But the challenge is that we have it. We don't know what to do with it. We only do it when keyboard plays. You have the power to change whatever the issue is in your family. You have the power. Sometimes when I hear people pray in tongue, I wonder, are they aware of what you are doing? What they are doing? My God, carry for Andoska. Perene karuka fire. Zinaman doroko salakaya. Rede korada kalibarada. So when you do it, do it one hour, do it two hours, do it three hours, something will come upon you. My God. You see, if you have a prayer life, it will even be activated faster. By the time you are even doing 15 minutes, something has come upon you. Oh my God. Paravita kanorada. Embra ikavata. Felekate kale korodi kapalata. Embra katika lapaya. When dunamis comes, it is to create a change. It doesn't come on you to leave you the same way. It doesn't come on you to leave your family the same way. It doesn't come on you to leave your finances the same way. If you are waiting on God, you wait till you die. And when you go to heaven, God will judge you for not changing the things you are meant to change. Because when you come, you will come with your portfolio. Let me go ask God why he didn't make me rich. As you come, you say, what do you mean? What do you mean? He was made poor. That you through him might be rich. What are you saying? 
He took your poverty. Why did, you, why did you allow the devil to give you a poverty that has been taken? That means the poverty that the devil is giving to you is a fake poverty. Because the real poverty has been taken by Jesus. Why didn't you change my family? He said, what do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, Malafi Karadiga, I can never be poor. I can never. I can never. All things are working for my good. Mafela Kuradi Gabaya. Le Kuradi Kafanataya. Zikaniga. Perezo Kalafariga. Zedekelo Daradash. Pray in tongue. Pray yourself into change. That means. When you want to now create change through dynamics, you don't pray into time. You pray into change. What it means to pray into time that you tell yourself, I'll pray three hours. You just do Kabbalah, Kabbalah. Whether not anything happens or does not happen after three hours, you just leave. But when you come and tell God, this situation in my family will stop. And you start praying. You have made up your mind first to pray in tongue. Number two, to pray into change. Number three, to pray into encounters. Jacob had a fortress where he was praying and then he had an encounter with an angel. He says, I will never let you go except he, that is a man who is praying into change. He would have ordinarily said, okay, let me go and sleep tomorrow I continue. But he said, you see this night? I will not let you go. Except there is a change. Except there is an encounter that first changes because I know the problem I have is the problem of identity. And then that angel asked, what is your name? when he was done with the encounter that was when he allowed the angels to go because he has gotten the change he wants in dunamis you must be willing to stand your ground until something not the kind of way you spray, sprinkle prayer like you are sprinkling water oh lord my family lord my jesus my jesus oh my finances jesus oh god oh god remember my father remember you don't get changes that way if you want to get water you don't carry drilling machine and put here brrr, the next minute brrr, you carry this side brrr, you focus on a point brrr, brrr, it will be looking until you meet rock you will use the drilling machine to crush the rock brrr, 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 until you start seeing water and when you start seeing water you don't stop you keep drilling until you get clean water so some of you you go to prayer and dynamis is activated something comes on you that time is still at the level of dirty water. I say, Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 You now come and tell us you pray three hours. And we ask, What did the three hours do to you? What change did you cause with the three hours? So, if you want dunamis to cause change for you, you must first remove time from your head. You pray in tongue, you pray into change, you pray into encounters. Kai, me avocali kata. Something is boiling. Something is boiling here. I sense, I sense a water boiling here. There's a stirring of the spirit. My God. My God. Okay. Let me do a little thing then. We will we'll practicalize. How do I get money? I'm telling you what I'm doing. How do I change challenges? The same thing. I have the greatest power on earth. And that power is the power of the Holy Ghost. And you have the same greatest power on earth. You have it. Darkness fears you because your appearance expels them. But you are not aware. So you are light. You just go to darkness and you are staying in darkness sitting in darkness and you are saying oh darkness you have de you are dealing with me imagine this light shining here and saying darkness you have killed me my people perish for lack of knowledge you don't know who you are you don't know what has what has been given to you you don't know and that is why you are walking like you are a prince but you are walking on barefoot beggars are riding on horses The Bible says, this is an error I've seen on the earth. Beggars. Yahoo boys. Beggars. 
those who are supposed to be whatever they are having as prosperity should be should be a joke compared to what you should be experiencing they are called beggars he said beggars are riding on horses whereas princes who are meant to be sitting on horses on driving riding on horses are the ones walking on barefoot and saying where will god come and help me and god is saying i have helped you through salvation i have helped you by giving you power in the in, when i gave you the holy ghost he says help me and prosper so that men will know i'm not a liar may people not look at my life and say god is a liar may my experience not not prove to people that god does not answer prayer so i will stand and stand i will stand until i see the change Kapia. take a Kapia dana. take it job in the situ in his situation stayed with god and say i will wait until my change come i will not i will not change my face i will not change my look i will not change my position elijah a man a man with with like passion he has the same similitude that you have and the same man he he he, he can stand and say for three years i, I lock up heaven he said unto you by my word how can you are you a god and when he felt like opening heaven he came back i said now i'm ready are you ready let's do some things where he was done showcasing power he says ahab be running home because rain will come he went and knelt down he knows how to bring the power that changes things and he began to pray he would tell his servant go and check the guy will run and come back and say there is nothing he said i know how to do it if i keep staying here that change will come do you know why the change has not come your prayer has been like morning food breakfast the way you prepare tea you have never stood up by 10 p.m in the night and you stayed from that 10 to 6 a.m because you want to create a change in your finances if you do it for one week if change doesn't happen in your finances just know that what i'm teaching you is lies these are things i've practiced and i've seen seen it happen everything you need is somewhere but you need something to activate it How can i be begging me me that should be speaking as a king you see you have been called into the kingdom of kings and priests kings that is at the kingship level of every believer you are given authority to rule at the priesthood level of every believer you are given authority to legislate over your society He says rule thou in the midst of your enemies so enemies can be around but rule the psalmist says you prepare my table in the presence of my not in the absence of my enemy because you know you have anointed my head with oil he says that oil on my head is the is the is the power is the energy you have given to me to conquer these enemies that you have surrounded around my table and he says in the midst of this trial when people are crying when people are, are running in challenges and it's looking like darkness is on the earth he says you anoint my head with oil and my own experience is different because my cup is running over he says when i walk though i walk through the shadow of the valley of death he said i fear no evil the reason why i'm not afraid of evil is because i'm aware that there is a god with me my god how can somebody go down to the pit of death and even in that point he says i fear no evil Thou art with me. Kaya barofa di akatas. When he gave you Jesus, he gave you everything. But when he gave you the Holy Spirit, he gave you himself. He gave you the empowerment. If in case you go to collect everything that he has given you through salvation, and they refuse to give it to you, I give you the power to deal with them. Right from the time of John the Baptist till now. The kingdom suffers violence because there is there is a contrary kingdom fighting against the kingdom where you are living it's called the kingdom of darkness so when god has given you health don't think you just stay and be say ah i'm no longer sick no the devil wants to throw a counter health uh, this into it he wants to throw sicknesses on you but you have to stand your ground and he has given you the energy and the energy is the holy ghost you shall receive dunamis after that the holy ghost is come upon you and you become a witness so when you come, you roar. They hear the voice of God. You shout to the situation of your family. They hear the voice of God. You can't save your family 
if you are born again and you have not used dunamis to bring change how do you bring change to your family get born again let people in your family now see that what you got is bringing changes to your family when i got born again nothing was happening in my family my father served as a government official until retirement without beauty <laughs> i had brothers who were graduates graduates no job anywhere i remember when that thing came on me and i understood that this thing is the energy that brings change i told myself i am going home to cause a change i traveled home and locked myself up for three days i did it after three days i felt a note of victory when i came out everything that happened from that time till now happened as a result of that one of my brothers that didn't get jobs up until then got two at the same time one federal one state at the same time my father got an appointment that made him build house within three months bought car within the same three months you can cause the change you can cause the change you can cause the change Feradi Kavatayas. oh my god hey yeah hey, yeah hey, yeah hey, yeah Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. now i will teach you one thing that is peculiar with dunamis dunamis is not activated with a, a consistent prayer life that is not the kind of power that is activ activated with consistent prayer life consistent prayer life is that you have one hour every day you have so you are meant to live a victorious life it's a different kind of power dunamis is activated when that is why you see somebody can walk around play with his life the day he wants to now go and preach he will lock up himself when he pray three hours he come out and he's anointed what he just activated is dunamis that one will not give him victory his day-to-day -day life he just power to make an instant change sir you can pay that rent today you can <laughs> you can you can you can just stay here but the problem is even that as i'm teaching some of you are still futuristic in your belief in your mind you are now believing okay if i do it now maybe in the next two years no maybe in the next three years no maybe god can cause the force of heaven to make it happen right now not we are not talking about dunamis is a now 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 kind of power the one that comes now to make change you are in the midst of a warfare it comes on you and then you are kaka 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 and you then you are done conquering the battle the thing leaves and waits for another time it is dunamis that is on me as i'm preaching now i will call you touch touch you you will fall under anointed after service i will hold you nothing happens Even as I'm teaching, it's dunamis. Dunamis will order your, your lips. He will order your lips to speak wisdom. Sometimes we'll finish, you carry the message you preach and you are listening to it. You are saying, what is this? Where is this wisdom coming from? You astray yourself, you know? You don't have the content you just preached. It's dunamis. You want to now use dunamis you must stay it stay it stay it how do you stay it fele karavia zuzika atura bikafane radika falakadish you stay it and stay it you now come to a point where that is activated when you feel that a strange being has taken over you is the time to begin to speak into the situations speak into challenges speak into problems don't let that power go down and then you go back to to failure you go back to a state where the devil wants to mess your life up mess your destiny up how can you be a believer for 10 years now if you astray your heart you are even doubting it does this god really exist all this will be he has not answered my prayer 
if he doesn't i would live here you are even doubting you don't even know if it is better to go to darkness or to be light you know the problem you have been you have been you have been weak for years you have been weak you don't really know what god has given to you because if you know it you don't retreat in the time of battles you don't you don't see battles and then you turn your back and you are running say hey there is battle no we are the ones that go to trigger battles i give you some minutes i give you some minutes 